This is project four video number two, the one in which we code it up. Let's uh, fire up the editor. And i got to make a graph. So uh, I think I'll call my function. Uh, plot um, you could call it Excel versus yeah, let's go we go A versus R takes two arguments omega and alpha has an end and it has a middle so uh, I have accepted the two arguments by uh, writing uh, the code this way what it's complaining about there not sure it's gonna like that plot A versus R maybe I got too many underscore oh, I got a dot there doesn't like the dot okay that's good I don't know how that dot got there anyway I shouldn't have put that there alright that was a nice little warning so uh, Set the arguments and R is equal to lin space of 0 to 1 the 101 values R equals lin space 0 comma 1 comma 101 semicolon and then I think it's A equals square root of Omega to the fourth plus alpha squared, and then all times R. Now, this is just uh, a number here, so I'm just multiplying R by a number, so I don't need to do it on a, I don't need to do the dot star because it does it on an element by element basis anyway and then plot r comma a so uh, I'm putting all the semicolons on there just trusting that I get this stuff typed in there right because uh, this seems pretty straightforward I'm going to save it plot a versus r dot m I'm going to copy that that name Uh, keep getting the dot, so I'll forget that. Uh, save it. I copy the name up here. Control C. And then I uh, want to try to run it. So Control V, that's how I was doing that. And uh, I had a test case given in the handout. It was 5 radians per second for omega and 12 radians per second squared for alpha just gives a simple straight line passing through the origin which is uh, exactly what we're expecting let's see you can see you can see it and it goes up to 28 and at the halfway point it looks like it's about 14 which uh, memory serves me correctly is just what we wanted it to be 28 all the way up about 14 halfway up so uh, it doesn't prove that uh, everything's working perfectly but uh, it seems to be working for the test case which uh, gives me some confidence that it's good plus uh, it's, it's rather simple code so uh, I'd say uh, I've got this one done yeah, just a matter of uh, 
putting the finishing touches on the graph and doing the documentation. I'll save that for video three.